Hello guys. Welcome to another video. You are at right place for training of topographical test. We provide training for topographical test and SERU test. Transport for London. TFL SERU mock test. 1. It important that TFL has your correct home address and email address so that you can be contacted with any information about your license. If you change your home address, you should tell TFL within 21 days. You should also tell us about any change to your email address or telephone number. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? A. TFL must have both your mobile and landline phone numbers. B. You do not have to tell TFL if your home address changes. C. You should tell TFL if your email address or telephone number changes. Correct answer. You should tell TFL if your email address or telephone number changes. 2. You are also required by law to tell the DVLA if you change your address. You will then get a new driving license with your new address on it. Details of how to do this are on the back of your DVLA license. The address on your PHB driver's license should be the same as the address on your DVLA license. Question. Which one of the following statements is correct? A. The address on your PHB driver's license should be the same as the address on your DVLA license. B. You are not required by the law to tell the DVLA if you change your address. C. Your driver license does not contain your home address. Correct answer, A. The address on your PHB driver's license should be the same as the address on your DVLA license. 3. As a licensed London PHV driver, you must tell TFL immediately if your personal circumstances change. This includes If you have broken the law and have been disqualified from driving. Please note that you will also have to return your London PHV driver's license and badge to TFL. If you are the subject of a mental health order or sexual offenses order 10. If you are on either the adults or children's barred lists. If you have a private hire or taxi driver's license with another licensing authority and that authority has suspended or revoked your license, or refused any new application you have made. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? A. If you are the subject of a mental health order you do not need to inform TFL. B. If you have been disqualified from driving you must tell TFL. C. You must tell TFL if you get a police warning. Correct answer, B. If you have been disqualified from driving you must tell TFL. 4. You do not need to tell TFL about any other penalty charge notices, PCNs, or parking tickets that do not result in penalty points on your driving license. However, if TFL becomes aware that you are getting frequent PCNs and or parking tickets, TFL may take licensing action against you. This is because TFL expects all licensed drivers to behave responsibly. Question. Which one of the following statements is correct? A. If you receive fines totaling more than £250 your license will be suspended. B. TFL does not intervene if you receive penalty charge notices. C. You do not need to tell TFL if you get a parking ticket. Correct answer, C, you do not need to tell TFL if you get a parking ticket. 5. If there are restrictions on a driver's right to live and work in the UK, TFL will add an appropriate condition on the license. If you are in this situation, you should make sure you comply with these conditions and make sure you have a continuing right to work. In particular, if you are in the UK on a student visa you will only be allowed to work for a limited number of hours each week and you will not be allowed to be self-employed. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? A. Students are not allowed to work as PHV drivers. B. Self-employed PHV drivers are not allowed. C. Students can only work part-time. Correct answer, C. Students can only work part-time. Six. If for any reason your license is revoked you must return your license to TFL within 7 days. If you do not, or your license has been suspended or revoked with immediate effect, TFL may send an authorized officer to take it from you. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? 
Uh, you must return your license within seven days if your license is revoked. B. You must return your license within 14 days if your license is revoked. C. TFL may send a police officer to take your license from you. Correct answer. A. You must return your license within seven days if your license is revoked. 7. Once a PHV has been licensed, the registered keeper is given a vehicle license and license discs will be fixed to the front and rear windscreens of the vehicle. The registered keeper also receives a leaflet which briefly describes the conditions of the license. PHV licenses last for one year and the vehicle must have another licensing inspection before a new license can be issued. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? A. License discs are only fixed to the front windscreens. B. PHV licenses last for three years. C. The vehicle must have another licensing inspection before a new PHV license can be issued. Correct answer C. The vehicle must have another licensing inspection before a new PHV license can be issued. 8. Every PHV must have higher or reward insurance. The insurance policy must be valid when the vehicle is licensed and at all times when the vehicle is being used as a PHV. We encourage you to carry details of the vehicle's valid hire or reward insurance policy whenever you are working as well as evidence that you are insured to drive the vehicle under that policy. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? A. PHVs can only have higher insurance. B. The PHV insurance policy must be valid when the vehicle is licensed and at all times. C. You must not carry details of the vehicle's valid hire or reward insurance. Correct answer. C. The vehicle must have another licensing inspection before a new PHV license can be issued. 9. Vehicles must be kept in good condition. If you own your PHV, you must tell TFL within 72 hours of any collision that affects the safety, performance, appearance, or comfort of the vehicle. The vehicle may need to be re-examined before it can continue to be used as a PHV. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? A. Uh, vehicles do not have to be kept in good condition. B. The vehicle does not have to be re-examined after a collision. C. If you own your PHV, you must tell TFL within 72 hours of any collision. Correct answer C. If you own your PHV, you must tell TFL within 72 hours of any collision. 10. As a London PHV driver, you can only carry out bookings that you have received from a licensed London PHV operator. You must carry out these bookings in a London licensed PHV that has PHV license discs on display, unless exempt. TFL's website has a license checker tool which contains the details of all licensed private hire drivers, vehicles, and operators. You should never accept a booking from an unlicensed operator. If you are in any doubt you should ask the operator for their operator license number and check their details using the online license checker too. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? A. A London PHV driver can carry out bookings from any PHV operator, whether unlicensed or not. B. TFL's website has a license checker tool which contains the details of all licensed private hire drivers, vehicles, and operators. C. It is too rude to ask an operator for their operator license number. Correct answer, B. TFL's website has a license checker tool which contains the details of all licensed private hire drivers, vehicles, and operators. 11. It is important to remember that a PHV is not a taxi, black cab. This means that you are not allowed to pick people up on the street or at stations or airports unless they have booked you through a licensed operator. This includes the street outside your operator's center. You must not allow any passenger to enter your vehicle before you have received the booking from your operator. You must not give any sign or say anything to a member of the public that suggests that you are available for hire, without a booking. Question, which one of the following statements is correct? A. You are allowed to pick up customers from the street without a prior booking. B. You can signal to members of the public that you are free and ready to provide a taxi service. C. 
You must not allow any passenger to enter your vehicle before you have received the booking from your operator. Correct answer, C.